Hello and welcome back to some more Dyson Sphere. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me again today. And we're about where we left off last time. Uh, I've done some looking through the tech tree and such like that and uh, kind of figured out you guys gave me some good tips last time. Uh, if we go over to upgrades here, uh, that only uh, the first few uh, upgrades in some of these uh, sections uh, take things that are not the research matrix. Uh, so like here this takes some coal and then these magnet or, or these uh, yeah magnetic coils and then after that it starts to become these other research things and we've not actually made this yet these energy matrices which we will need soon uh, because looking at our main technology tree here uh, a lot of stuff is going to start requiring those. Now uh, these are the platforms I'm still trying to find where exactly we unlock this itself because we, we don't have the ability to make that yet. Um, the solar panels are there. Um, I'm still trying to find it <laughs> uh, because obviously without that we can't exactly uh, proceed and I really don't see it um, which is interesting. I think I'm definitely still missing some parts of the tech tree um, here. So We'll definitely need to look through this because I mean, yeah, we can't. We, we don't have these unlocked yet to make. Uh, and if we do look at this recipe, it requires some of that. Uh, I think that was like carbon and then some other stuff, which I do recall seeing that somewhere. Uh, accelerant, perhaps. Which we can't seem to get quite yet, interestingly, even though we do have this unlocked. Um, let's exit out of there, because if we go into our replicator here, we, we don't have the option to make that. Um, but I am seeing some production er issues, so that may be what we need to deal with first. As you can see, things are uh, not really working at the speed that they were, uh, and uh, we, we just don't have enough smelting for this, basically, is what the issue is. Uh, we don't have any sort of lack of ore, so I think we can pretty easily remedy this problem. Um, by just adding some more smelters. I have one already, but I'm gonna go ahead and make another. Uh, and we're gonna do that, and then uh, let's go ahead and build some of these. We should automate belts and stuff as well. Uh, here, maybe this episode if we get a chance. Uh, you know, it's becoming a bit tiresome to make them all, so definitely uh, the, the belt and also the sorters. Uh, so we're gonna output here. Uh, I think perhaps adding another smelter after this wouldn't be a bad plan um because this certainly is not <laughs> certainly is not filling this belt um so we're gonna go ahead and i think just add yet another one here like so we will need to extend our belt out here a little bit like that and then grab another sorter like so and then another one here and there we go. So the research is um, going. It's uh, <laughs> If we take a look, there was actually another thing I want to do this episode as well. Uh, if we take a look here, um, the these guys are just not actually consuming this fast enough. This is still all backed up. So we have environmental modification complete, which is fantastic. Uh, now, I would like to actually build another lab here, if at all possible. We do have one. Um, and I would like to stack it uh, yet again. I don't know how high exactly we can stack them as of yet. Uh, this theoretically should be passing through. Um, it, it is, I think, eventually, um, perhaps. We are doing some research, although this is the amount in here. I don't know lack of matrix, but if we, huh, interesting. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, this is actually not fast enough. I was mistaken. Um, this is actually a little bit too slow. Well, you know what that means. When you increase one thing and something else doesn't keep up, the answer is very clearly to just make more of whatever is missing. Uh, so, we do need some stone for this, I believe. Uh, I don't know if we can get it from here. We need to actually, these are not actually mineable, I don't think. So. Let's zoom on out and find, I had found a patch somewhere of this. Some iron over there, some copper. Uh, this is stone right here, duh. Uh, we didn't actually do much with this <laughs> right now, so we could certainly go ahead and do that. Uh, 
Uh, maybe make two more of these even. Uh, yeah, so we are researching the kind of uh, increased robot uh, speed, personal building uh, robots here, which will help us just build things a little bit faster. I would like to research flight. Uh, if we go here and look at the drive engine, um, we will need, of course, these, which we do have plenty of, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, still searching. Still searching. I don't know why we can't unlock this unless it requires this first but <clears throat> looking through all these okay here we go <laughs> uh so this requires energy matrix if i had just read the name um this is going to require it looks like a, this which we can't okay so let's get that <laughs> and then we'll cue that i think so let's do that um let's see if we can go ahead and increase our uh, production here of some stuff. All right, seven. It's a little bit of a reach, but go ahead and grab that. It looks like the circuits are potentially going to be an issue as well. Uh, so we maybe should be increasing our circuit production. Again, it's not a lack of input materials, purely a lack of, well, maybe it's a lack of input materials. Uh, it looks like it is indeed. So it's the speed at which this can input this. So in this case, we have two options. We can either add another one or we can do this. Um, it basically equals the same thing uh, because these are twice as fast. I'd like to go ahead and try one of these out. So if we, uh, it looks like we can't just easily uh, replace it, unfortunately. Uh, but we should be able to go ahead and do that. And there we go. So that is double the trips now. It's like really flinging those things in there. And it's actually still too slow, believe it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and add yet another one. And uh, we, we may end up running out of iron again here. <laughs> it would not be surprising. Uh, but that's more than fast enough at this point. So let's go ahead and add another one of these guys here. So going to need a, an assembling machine, which is here. And I had purposely left room for this. Uh, this should work. If you want to line it up with that. So th these can actually reach three tiles, you guys have informed me, which is quite nice. Um, now, one issue we're going to run into, I'm noticing, <laughs> is uh, we can't... Well, actually we can. Okay, I thought, because this looks like this is kind of starting to slope so I thought we wouldn't be able to connect to it but it looks like we're actually lucky enough to be able to do that thank goodness um, I'm gonna see if one of these to start with is enough I feel like because this is super overkill I think maybe it was just trying to catch up uh, so let's go ahead and add one of these <clears throat> and then if we switch over here that way I, I don't think we had a copper input issue at all um, and then actually, <laughs> interestingly, it's an output problem at this point. You can see this is building up in here. So if we go ahead and delete that, we're going to have the same problem here, I imagine. Uh, if we come in here and go, uh, let's actually let's go out like that, and then out like that. That should hopefully get these cranking out of here pretty quickly. Um, it is, in fact, a copper input issue. I'm going to go just use what we have here. Uh, get two of these going at this point seems like that's probably good uh, and then coils were out of now power I think is going to be a slight issue it is so we probably need another coal plant I think we also need more magnets or magnet coils rather um, so uh, this was not well designed <laughs> This was not well designed at all. Um, luckily, we do have splitters, so we have a couple options here for ourselves. Uh, we could, well, not many options because of how I've arranged this. It's way less than ideal because <laughs> this this is all goes above and stuff. Now, I am curious. Actually, I am a little bit curious to test something. Um, and this would be a good opportunity. I'm curious if these splitters can be put um, on a belt section that is raised, elevated, because uh, that could open some options for us. Um, I think really the only way to find out is to try it. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, 
It looks like not, because uh, I'm using my arrow keys to attempt to raise this, um, and I, we already know we can't place it on a belt, like an existing belt, so I don't see a way to actually get this to be raised. Uh, well, that is raised, so I don't know how to actually, because when I place it here and use my up arrow key, it's not raising it, and uh, I do know... We can't place it on an already existing belt, as you can see. So, I don't know of a great way to do this, unless it's maybe not liking it. Yeah, see, when I do this, it just it doesn't like that. Uh, it could be because it's... Let's just try one thing. It could possibly be... Because it's still, like, considering that slope or something, maybe... Um, I'm curious. I mean, I know we're like messing stuff up here, killing our production, but yeah, this looks like it's just not, it's not happening. <laughs> oh man, shoot. Okay. I, I was hoping we could split this and then send this this way and expand the production that direction. <clears throat> but alas, that is not something we can do. So I seem to have goofed this up now quite nicely. Um, Oh wow! I, how did I achieve this the first time? Because <laughs> this is uh, this is not not liking what I'm attempting to do here. Shoot! There we go. Plasma extract refining. You can now extract crude oil resources. In addition to using its energy, you can also refine it into various chemical products. So this may be another type of energy production. Um, looking at this, though, we certainly do need to build um, more magnetic production stuff. So I was thinking I could just put it here. Getting the copper over could be interesting, um, <laughs> to say the least. So I think... I could just put it here, but that's a very bad idea. Um, we're actually gonna we're gonna tear that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because what I want to do is I want to. Uh, I think I'm gonna just build this cross from here, and then we're gonna take this and make magnetic coils. And I think this could be. Shoot, this wasn't so... These splitters are, are really big. They, they make it a little bit difficult to <laughs> kind of do things how I would want. Um, I think we can maybe still do it. I'd kind of like to split this. We could just also just run it straight down here and not split it. Uh, I don't actually think... If we tear this up, I don't actually think this is going to fit. I don't think it's going to like this. It's not like this. Okay. Well, then we're gonna have to do some rearranging on our uh, on our power here. Um, we're going to break a lot of things in this process, so bear with me. This is just part of you know part of the progression here. Uh, so if we have this guy go into here and then have this come out to here and have this one build this go up to there. And then have this guy come out into there. Nope, oh, get out of the way. Sorry there, bots. Once they build this, we should be good to get that going. And then we're going to also want one into there. Uh, now the output for this could be interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to make that work, but we will find a way. Okay, so it looks like potentially... Yeah, this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh, man. Okay, so this is cranking these out. Now we need a way to actually output these. Um, there's a few things we could do. I would very much like it on this belt. Oh, that's the wrong thing to click on. Um, so I think this is pretty straightforward on what's happening here. Uh, we need to kind of do the opposite. We need to utilize this as a merger now for this. Um, which we actually can do quite nicely right here. Um, I think if we kind of change potentially, theoretically, 
<laughs> Theoretically, this should work. Now, I don't know if we have to merge it on this belt, or maybe I can make multiple of these <clears throat> um, mergers. I'm not sure. Maybe by just having the belt go into there, it's going to just automatically make it um, merge. So, we're going to find out. I'm going to see exactly how these work. Um, what exactly? Ooh, we unlock that. Need a valid connection. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. Keep forgetting we need the belt first. I will say that is something that I find a little bit frustrating. Um, you know, this is also a first impressions um, kind of playthrough. So I, would, I, I do plan to share some of my thoughts as we go. Um, Overall, I'm really enjoying the game. I think it's actually extremely well done for it being its first release and a fairly small dev team. I think it's just five devs. Um, so it looks like this is just acting as a merger, um, just simply by feeding the belt in. Um, I like that it automatically determines it that way. Uh, but one thing I, I am frustrated by is that you need a belt first to use these. I feel like it should be valid to place the sorter first, um, kind of like you would in Sorter or a Splitter in Factorio or in Satisfactory, and then connect a belt to it. Um, it's not a huge deal, it's just a little bit annoying. Um, so these are cranking out. Um, we, we aren't doing anything because <laughs> we are out of research. So, um, but before we move on though, we have an oil refinery. Extract, extracted crude oil is further refined to obtain refined oil and hydrogen. Um, now we should, theoretically, I would think um, I don't know if this is what actually extracts the oil. Oil extractor, here we go. Um, so, water pump. So this is what we'll need. There is some oil, I think. There's actually several spots of oil um, that I found. So we'll have to find the closest one. Uh, but one thing I want to mess with that you guys mentioned, which is actually quite interesting to me, um, is that these buildings can actually be uh, connected together and kind of chained, um, much like the boilers in Steam Engines and Factorio, uh, they, they can actually be chained together, which I think is really cool. Uh, and that's part of, you guys said, that's part of why the input-output thing was a little bit odd. Um, you can see, when I do this, you can see it's drawing an arrow, kind of like a power pole. Um, now, I don't know if it really matters which way it goes. Um, I would like to at least have it be facing the same direction, so we're just going to do it this way. Um, I'm going to do that. And this theoretically should chain together. Uh, now, I don't think it necessarily is going to chain the fuel together. So, <laughs> um, we probably will need to do a split of some sort here. Um, alternatively, actually, hold on. I'm thinking here. Alternatively, if this lets me connect these, be connected while it's a bit further away. Um, Good. So it looks like that's about the max. Um, what I'm thinking is we could actually just run the fuel belt down the middle. Now, of course, this is not in the middle, so I'm going to attempt this one more time. Because that was not centered and it's going to drive me nuts. This is also not really centered. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this may be on a uh, tile orientation that's just not going to work. This may be uh, based on a grid thing that just isn't really going to work for us, but we'll see. So that's two things away. This does actually work. I just can't, can't arrange things correctly, apparently. Um, so let's go ahead and get a few of these. I don't think we need level twos for this. I, I think that's quite excessive. Uh, so let's actually, let's tear this up. Tear, not that, tear that up. Tear this up. It's interesting that the deconstruct is instantaneous as well. Uh, not necessarily a complaint, but also maybe takes immersion away a little bit. Uh, Alright, so we now have this coming through here, and we can draw these out. So, that. It's not really going to work, I don't think, is it? No. Do that. And there we go. Uh, and these theoretically should be providing power. Uh, together consumption so we're not really consuming much because everything's off um, now one thing that would be 
cool. Oh, we can actually look at our other planets as well. Um, one thing that would be cool, I think, is if it showed... I'm probably missing something. <laughs> uh, but if it showed how many things we actually have generating the power. Uh, I mean, we see how much power and all that, but, I, you know, I, I obviously know there's two here right now, but once I get a ton of these, I may not know off the top of my head how many I have. Um, so it would be kind of nice just to have a display there, uh, perhaps. Uh, but let's actually get, get some research going as well. As well. Um, there are still some that are just blue. Basic chemical engineering seems like a decent enough thing to get. Um, upgrades as well. Some of these do require blue or not. Um, this one does. Might as well queue that up as well. Um, they are going fairly slow. Um, you can see there's about six minutes, six and a half minutes perhaps on that. Uh, I did want to check on these and see that we're actually using all of them. And it looks like we are. Um, so this guy is going and automatically added that, which is cool. See, now I feel like we could add more of these, but last time we did that, it kind of broke stuff. But, you know, I want to try it. Can this stack again? See the max height of vertical instruction. Upgradable. Um, okay, so we do have the option to upgrade that. I really like how this is looking. Um, it's in here somewhere. Another, <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot. I'm just sharing thoughts. Um, another thing that would be fantastic is a search option in this tech tree. Like, that would be absolutely brilliant. I'm sure that's coming down the road. Even games like Factorio and stuff didn't have a search function um, when they first started. Uh, but I'd like to zoom out and kind of see how this looks on a planetary scale. Um, and it's coming along. I like where things are going. Uh, while we're out here, let's go ahead and find some oil. So there's some here. This is a two a second production rate well. Uh, there's also, there were some somewhere else. There's some over here. This one's slightly better. Uh, it's about equal distance. I'm actually tempted to do this. I like bringing my resources in kind of from the back of the factory. Because um, in general, even though it's a spaghetti mess, in general, we're building our factory this way. Um, so securing resources here, uh, you know, maybe it can meet up with what we're building, but I'm probably going to have production stuff here. Um, so having this here could interfere with where we're building potentially. Um, there's also some out here, but those are, I think, definitely farther away than this one. So those are probably going to be our best bet. And I believe you can move fluids on belts, like in barrels or something. Um, I don't know if there's pipes or not, <laughs> uh, but we will find out. Also, my energy is quite low, so I'm going to go stand by here and grab some charge. This should definitely test our power, so our power is still not sufficient, at least when I'm charging. Um, once I'm done charging, we should be in much better shape here. So if I like leave this area and look at power, um, we definitely do have enough, even with all of our buildings going. And I believe that's going to do it for this one, guys. Seems like a good place to stop. Next time, we will absolutely be working on our energy matrix. Uh, we already have one of the materials done um, to, to make. And the other one, I don't know if we haven't unlocked it yet. Or maybe it just isn't a simpler recipe that we can't see until we go into an assembler. Actually, it's the last part of this episode. I do want to just look in there. Um, it may not be an assembler even. It may be like an oil refinery which we were not given one. Um, need some steel as well, so we'll have to do that first. Pretty straightforward, just iron. Uh, I, I highly doubt it's an assembler, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's not. This is, though. Um, so yeah, it's probably in an oil refinery or something. Uh, so we're gonna get rid of that, and if we go here, does it say? So this is hydrogen. Fuel type made in a refining facility. Okay. And there you go. So, whew, so this, okay, so this looks pretty complicated, potentially. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, this is looking like a modded thing from Factorio. Um, I think once we get in there, it'll make a lot more sense. Can't be that much more difficult than, like, Factorio or uh, Satisfactory old processing. But I think that's going to do it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, a like is um, much appreciated, too. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to keep up with all the new content. Any thoughts, suggestions, leave them down below. I do really appreciate the tips you guys give me. I do read as many of them as I can. Um, even if I'm not implementing all of them, 
Uh, I probably will eventually and may just not remember all of them or have an opportunity. Uh, but I believe that's going to do it. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.